probably better than the reroll anyway. Worth more, isn't it? 70k instead of 50. No, oh, God. I'll never get a runner. So, no. <laughs> Don't let your dwarfs get out bashed. Get, better get a babe. There's nothing else though, is there, to be fair. Why the fuck did I not stop the stream after that game? No, because I got, I got my hopes up, didn't I? With, with, the, um, with the concession, I got my hopes up that the rest wouldn't be fucking horrific. Have you got the star player? Yep, Scouty. It should be down below. Um, is it? I'm gonna have to go on Twitch now. Should be. It should be below the. Um, I don't know. Maybe it's different if you're on mobile. Potentially. It's the twentieth. Yeah, my match versus Inarian is scheduled for April the 20th at 9am GMT. I won't be streaming it, but we'll do the replay analysis for YouTube. So, um, and obviously you can watch it live. Fashbinder. That's on the 22nd at um, some time. The other one. Oh. Yeah, he still got block though, he still got block on everybody. Which ain't a lot of fun. Seventy five per cent surf. <laughs> nah, cause he just couldn't protect the other guy. Good counter surf. Quick snap surf for the troll slayer. It's a lot of fucking effort. It's good though, isn't it? It is good surf and the troll slayer. To be honest. I so I guess I gotta set up to surf the troll slayer. On a quick snap. Right, so push him to there, then there, and then get the size. So he can go here so he's not in danger at the start. Five star player playing can can deliver a pass. Right, so he goes there. If it's a side if it's a if it's a fucking quick snap, he goes there. Other guy runs round and then someone calls in for the assist. So one, two, three, four, five, six. He goes in. He goes in for the assist. Push him there, push him to there. And then um surf him out and then move someone else in. So there's a quick snap surf on. Time for a perfect defense or a blitz.
Let's go there. This is a block version now. Same with him, with him. Hitting armor rate's good, isn't it? Protect against the frenzy a little bit. No, of course not. It's the best way to beat hells, isn't it? Especially at low TV when they can't, they can't dodge away or anything. But luckily he's just gone for the Tyrion. The half-man's. I would love to power that and follow for the assist. Mm. May as well go for the blitz to do it with blow. Can't blitz anyone else with blow. Now the journeyman gets to go in there. Well deserved. Well deserved removal for the half mans. for that, eh? Not the end of the world.
bad blitz, wasn't it? If he'd blitzed from the other way, we could have got another 2D out of it. But I guess he's a bit of a beginner. What's the plan? Two dice this lad, blitz this lad, two dice this lad. <laughs> lads, lads, boys, boys, lads. Ball safe, so no rerolls required. Hmm, interesting, isn't it, how he's just not doing anything? I mean, I guess I'm not doing anything either, but still. Strange lack of pressure. Guys, not going every turn. Sounds good. And we'll see if it's Kane. No, in the semi final against Inarian, playing it on Thursday morning. Funny J5. Maybe you see the credits after you complete the campaign. Nobody knows. Really weird play this, isn't it? Really weird. Two dice this guy, two dice this guy, two dice this guy, two dice this, this guy, blitz this guy. <laughs> okay. Uh, that is, I guess that changes the... Um, 
Guess that changes things a little bit, maybe. Let's see. Still no pressure for the ball, so don't have to. About three rerolls, I might as well reroll that. Actually. Oh. So much for all these 2Ds, eh? I still don't think you can pressure the ball though, from the other way. Bit of a sad turn. So much potential for knocking guys over. You just made a lot of pushes, but I guess, you know, no turnover with blockless mains is good, isn't it? Got my online stopwatch. <laughs> Got 59 idols in 46 minutes. I think it's probably better to keep going. Yeah, exactly. Because no one finished the campaign. Yeah, you got you got it, Death Run. <laughs> there you go, throwing God knows, bombs fall off. The campaign's pretty good if you ignore the gameplay. <laughs> He conceded randomly, Pedro, yeah. For some reason, he conceded. So now he's actually got in the way a little bit, hasn't he? Um, he's decided to stop his plan of getting everybody knocked over for no reason. And now I've actually got to break through a little bit. on that note. Actually get a little bit forward. <laughs> Do fuck all. <laughs> Still no need to go crazy. Is it? You don't mind how he's playing it? His first few turns were horrible. He's giving up four blocks a turn. This was much better. The last turn was much better. If he'd been doing that for the first four turns, maybe that it would have been that would have been good. But the first, the first, uh, sorry, the first three turns were horrible because he just like give up a load of blocks. I could have, I would have broken through if I'd got knocked down for last turn. No, his first three turns were shit. Well, I got powers that turn. I, I've 
He's the middle open right up. Yeah, that was the thing. Obviously, the, the gameplay meant that I couldn't even play the campaign. Maybe he misclicked enter. <laughs> oh yeah, well keeping keeping him in front of you obviously is is valid. Trying to maintain formation, not give him an easy break is fine. If he'd been doing that for four turns, it would have been better than him just run you know rando basing with half his guys. Yeah, this is good, isn't it? This is good, like kind of elf screeny type stuff to stop the um to stop it. That's absolutely fine. Strange that he played so bad before. Then I think I can probably turn the corner here, can't I? I'm thinking. I well, know, but then he's got that. Run, run it there, so I can't really get it on the corner. Run is in a good spot. Alright, so it's time to base um, this turn. Maybe I should have done this turn five. Can use a rear on the dodge anyway, so it's okay. Yeah, I probably should have done that last turn. Fair enough. Yeah, the famous dwarf screen. 
Yeah, exactly. If you blitz the slayer, you get first stone side lane. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, I thought it was pretty good. Pretty good after the first few weird turns. I mean, the first few just go on, and you know, if you, if you, if your strategy is to try and make me use my rerolls, just fucking go on. And I really don't like the half you know. There's a strategy. For winning games of football. Should be able to make some kind of break now though with dodges or one Ds or whatever. Obviously got the guy behind so you can't really block with the trolls for you. and hopefully there's some luck and everything works out <laughs> imagine that eh? no luck as of yet got some luck obviously had that being a pal the blitz goes there and it's easy peasy lemon squeezy as it is could still be somewhat easy peasy. Two, three, four, five, six. I'd quite like to be there. And to dodge to get him round. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Don't roll a double one. Classic. Absolute classic. Classic play there. One time in the match I need to not roll a double one. Pretty this is why I don't play L's, you know, you've got Inari and He'll probably roll 30, 1 in 36 rolls a game. 
and he'll fail three, and he'll be like, oh, it's pretty unlucky there. No, you can't count the monkey team. That's the, that. I'm, I'm disappointed. That's on fumble. <laughs> even though I don't even play there anymore. Oh man, fuck that stupid monkey team. I hate it. I just absolutely hate, hate it. But I mean, look, fair enough. It was a thanks. It was a thanks from Krista for the guy who you know helping him with the, uh, with the fumble dice, which is which is fair enough. But. I just fucking hate it. What a surprise. Hits without tackle, gets a pal. Goes into three tackle zones. Seems good. See this is it. Two D in the ball, scatter, see what happens. Not oh, correct, clear them all without scatters. He could block him. Can't get the assist for him, we'd have to blitz him. Nah, I think it's easy to get the get the pal and see what happens. That seems good. Right, if I push to there, it's bad. If I push into there, then it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. To get the assist, though, he's got to push in. Can she block him? Yeah, she can. Easy. Elf's doing things. That's good. Isn't it? Batman. They should all have that head, head I've just realised. Make it look like they're wearing a Batman mask. Oh shit. That was that was an error. What are you doing here? What are you doing? That's so good, isn't it? The VGP is Batman.
don't hit monkeys, I just hit monkeys in. Ah, oh, this is my bricks. Yeah, it means like have a good game, doesn't he? Simeons, yeah. Why do ye? Just because while they're not as powerful as Skaven or Wood Elves, they feel less dicey, so consequently I enjoy them more. I say, as a guy gets injured on me, otherwise, and killed after just scoring his touchdown. Aha, uh -huh, but the apple doing a thing instantly. Apple instantly doing a thing. So, there you go. That was, wasn't such a bad choice instead of the reroll, was it? The guy that scored, he shouldn't have been on the line, should he? Being the score after scoring and being the hero. I guess I shouldn't have put him on the line. Why are you, what are you doing here? What are you doing? <laughs> ah. Oh, it should be exclamation point Batman, shouldn't it? Holy shit. That, that's what the team should be. I didn't mean that the guy is actually an idiot, but that wasn't a good foul, was it? No, not good. Yeah, they should all have that, that fucking head, shouldn't they? Holy shit. And that would take effort. It was already fucking enough effort copy pasting on Batman. That's about as much effort as I want to spend on creating a team. <laughs> With the amount of patience I've got at the moment. The Trident. I wish you could have more than three saved setups, and I wish you could like edit them and stuff out of the game, and I wish you could name them. Ooh, interesting. Deep kick. Heroes, <laughs> one. Mm. Yeah, zeros on the LOS this time. Worked it out. Got there in the end. Up and stuff. Do what you're doing, though.
eine super Anfrage. Maybe he thinks because I use an apple I'll concede if someone dies. Maybe. Maybe that's his strategy, if you like. Try the one of there. Everyone else is kind of alright. If it's on a 3 plus, get the 2D him. Other option is just 2D him. And then 2 plus him out. I guess 2 plus him out is better. Isn't it? As much as I love hitting. Um, what are they called? Troll slaves. Probably the same one. I mean, if, if if by the same one you mean the guy with dwarves, then yeah, it's not the guy who had wood elves. Another foul. Get sent off the motherfucker. Third foul should be sent off. Should be sent off according to Ducky. <laughs> Sticking him in there is okay, isn't it? <laughs> I think I've rolled a one on every dodge. <laughs> I think I've rolled four. I think I've made four dodges and rolled four ones. I don't know. I don't know if people can confirm that or not. But I believe I've made four dodges and rolled four ones. Oh man. Yeah, that's true, Mildrister, yeah. yeah. And it's the same with Shawnee as well, isn't it? Because Shawnee might go mighty blow on his... Um... Shawnee might go mighty blow on his uh... long beard if the final's against Inarion.
Surf's on unless he protects him. Hasn't really got the movement to. You do indeed, Mo. You do indeed. Now, I'd say Narian's yellow circle against me. Mo's green circle against Shawnee. And how many possible finals are there? One, two, three, four possible finals. I'd say Narian's. Maybe yellow against Mo. Probably yellow against Shawnee. I don't know, maybe Shawnee might be yellow against him. Um Obviously I'm I'm yellow against Shawnee and um not against Mo. Mo would be green versus me. The reason I moved that one there is because I didn't want to get um didn't want to get anyone surfed by these shitheads um dwarfs what are they call troll slayers so wanted to play around that a little bit. The circle thing is um, Fashbinder decided to um, to decree the chances that people had of winning their matches in Champs Ladder playoffs um, to judge them based on on circling who he thought would win, with green being a um, green being a very favourable and yellow being favourable. That's what the circles are. I can I can um, show you. Nope, that's me. Nope, that's me. Nope, that's me. Nope, that's me. Wait, is it this one? Like this? See, he he picked green when he thought they'd definitely win, and yellow if he just thought they'd probably win. Um. So yeah. Mull's got Jimmy versus Mull in the final. <laughs> oh yeah, there should be one thumb. No, oh, I can't have thumbs. I can't even remember who I put. Maybe Zinarian. Maybe Zinarian Mull I might have picked. But I'm, I'm sure I picked Ori Lensis to win. So I probably picked the Nurgle guy. Because I reckon the Nurgle guy would have beaten Ori Lensis and then had a really good... Probably would have beaten me. Really good shot of beating me. Probably would have won that. But I should have realised that obviously if Inarian got the upset against Orylensis, he was, he'd have probably the safest route to the finals. Relying on elf bullshits, bullshit is more reliable than relying on elf bashing people, isn't it? Mm. 
Yeah, it's going to be tough for Shawnee to win. Like, but if he gets dice like he got against the Dark Elf. It'll be easy for him. Well, not easy for him because he still have to beat that. Standard on it, Ducky. Standard living rule book. Living rule book f five four. The High Elves lost against Dinarian. Carl Ancelotti. They, they managed to win against the Nurgle. For some reason, the Nurgle just completely exposed himself to a lightning bolt on like turn fourteen or fifteen. And Cody said thank you very much, bolted him, and um, got the win. Yeah, not going to be easy, no, of course not, Mole. But if, if if he receives and does, you know, fucking four... Look, at the end of the day, the the, mo the, the fucking one-turner isn't easy against, against Shawnee because he's got the tackle back line if you haven't removed anybody, which I guess you probably have done by then. But if you haven't removed anybody, then getting the one turn isn't really isn't easy against a back line of tackle. And even not against a back line of tackle, it's um it can still fail, can't it? So like it's gonna fail at some point in the playoffs, the one turn, you would expect. Um Now put him up to assist. Obviously I could just assist it by standing him up, but if it's a push, then I want to be able to dodge him away and not have anyone in contact. Seems reasonable. Breaks for days. Just turns out basing people on offense isn't very good, is it? Oh, and said that I might base with three here. Maybe just base with two. Made a dodge. He can, he can he can cover the back line more. So yeah, so you're looking at a three plus two plus two plus non non with dodge, or you've got to like go one two three four five six seven eight nine, GFI GFI to two die to one dice in with wrestle. No, it's with blocks, which is essentially the three plus as well. So yeah, if 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 you don't remove anybody, yeah, yeah, eight tackle does it if if they don't get removed. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's, it's a horrible game, Blood Bowl, if you're not feeling it. It really is. So yeah, if if Shawnee's guys remain intact, he does have the eight to back line it, which does make the which makes the. Uh, it's obviously still going to happen more often than it fails the one turn, but it can always fail, can't it? It's only seven out of ten, isn't it? At best, well, probably eight and a half out of ten at best, with a touchback or something. But it, assuming you've got to pick up the ball and, pa and short pass it to him, it's um, probably the best defense would be Nurgle just with the disturbing presences on the catch, wouldn't it? <laughs> Make the catch a three plus is probably about the best you can fucking do against it. Absolute jaw. Obviously, well, five tentacles is the best, but who the fuck is going to have five tentacles? Right, he could block him into there, then he could block he can block him into there. He can block him into there, into there, into there, into there. Nah, there's just not enough, is there? I'd like to get him out, wouldn't I, if I can, but I just don't think I can. Maybe I can. Just do the blocks and see what happens. Seems a fine strategy. I 
didn't get the push. If I'd got the push onto there, that would have pushed him to there. Then could have filled a guy in, then could have what then could have pushed him out and then could have got a one D on the ball there. Was possible. I've got a one dice on the ball anyway, haven't I? I've just realised! <laughs> oh, oh, dear me. Right, now draw L's with a man advantage randomly. Let's go cover this. Just the elf. Just the elf. Just the witch. And you need five tenths. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, obviously, I'll accept the bolt down. Nice. If you don't need to go for any kind of pickup this turn. Yeah, it's something about 60%. It's, he's about 60% to... Um, Muldrifster is about 60% to score with his one turn if he has to pick up and pass um, against Shawnee's eight-tackle back line, if he has it. <laughs> Oh god, what a scatter. <laughs> Pretty sweet. GG. GG. Miss Witch Elf still hasn't fucking scored. That's how I play Elves. Fucking all oh, mans him on fucking turn 13, whereas Inarian just does it from turn 1 every game. He's a fucking madman. Yeah, 60% of the time it works every time. So it's definitely, with any team, it's worth grinding it out. I think there's more chance of. I think there's a more than a fucking seventy percent chance of Muldrips scoring in two turns if you if you let him with with Skaven than than making the one turn. Yeah, probably, probably Mo, probably, probably. I'm I'm backing you strongly in this match. I don't need the blitz of the ball carrier, but I'm gonna do it anyway, just because it's fun. Punch the um, punch the armor right. Eh? Can't resist it. I just literally can't resist punching a fucking shithead troll slayer. Shot 
if I rolled um, six ones on five dodges. <laughs> I think I've rolled six ones on five dodges. I literally think that's what I've rolled. <laughs> I really think that's what I've rolled. That's fucking crazy. I would, I would, I would be, I would be happy with that hippie as long as I beat Inarian. <laughs> I'll claw on the tree if I have to, um, but I would rather not. I would rather not. <laughs> You know, commit that many men to hit the tree. Maybe to do it on defense, I guess. Yeah, on, on defense, if I get to hit the tree, I will. Um, if I get to do it on defense, I will. Because why not? I'm not going to stop him scoring whatever the fuck I do. And he's going to score in two anyway. So I, if I get to hit the tree, I will do. Like if it's easy to hit the tree, or if it's like. Do you know what I mean? If Inarian plays well and puts the tree on like three guys, then I might as well fucking blitz it, might not. So, but we'll just see. Just see what happens. I don't. I don't like to have plans. <laughs> All right. Time for some dodges. Hmm. Can he blitz? No, I don't think so. He can blitz. <laughs> he can only base. So this guy can hit and this guy can. So I guess block him and blitz the other one. But no one can reach to assist the blitz, so I have to blitz and base him. I just irrelevant two dice block. Seems good. Shit, making the dodge. I shouldn't have made these two dodges. I'll obviously make these, and it'll affect the stats for ones and skulls to make it look like I've um, I've been a demon at rolling dodges. So ignoring these last two dodges here, I want to see the stats of ones and skulls afterwards. Oh, and these two dodges. <laughs> oh shit, <laughs> making all these dodges. Just to spoil, spoil the This is a pretty good dodge to make, I think. Right, so it was like four, four dice roll that I didn't care too much about, even though I re-rolled it. It was on to turn 15. If I hadn't been turn 15, I wouldn't re-rolled it. So four, four dodges I didn't care about. <laughs> no pressure. Uh, 
I mean, there was really only one that was crucial, wasn't there? Out of all of that, no matter what the stats say, there was only one dodge that was really crucial, which was that double one. So it wouldn't have mattered if I'd made a hundred dodges or even failed. Well, I mean, it didn't even matter failing the dodges that failed anyway. They didn't really, it didn't really matter. Base on the last turn gets him injured, oh thank god. It's only a base though, isn't it? And she's got dodge. Knock the ball for that second 1 in 36 what chance of the game. Sorry, third, we have a third 1 in 36 overall. Reroll three dodges failed every reroll. Which is good, isn't it? Being Batman. Right. Yeah, you played okay. GG. Had a good, had a good shot of stopping us in the first half. The second half, I saw the full team, didn't I? So it was always, it was always going to be tougher. Juggernaut, obviously, Shawnee, unless you've rolled strength. Oh, you rolled a double, didn't you? I guess it's obviously jump up then, isn't it? No. <laughs> MVP on that guy again, what a madman. Kick off return. Um, was I insulting my opponent? Why did I? How did I insult him? I thought he played all right after the first few turns. It's not an insult. It's just an honest assessment. He didn't have much chance of scoring because I had a full. No one's got much chance of scoring against a dark elf team with, you know, a good dark elf coach. With dwarves, it's tougher than them. Dodge. Um, right, so yeah, obviously, th I like third reroll before the fourth blitzer, just because I think you can go for kind of speculative, speculative things. 